but let's see. Excitable, prone to fantasy. Textbook case of female hysteria. We'll have her fixed in no time. Stop her! against time. He is not someone you want as your enemy. Time is a he. Underland. Your time is up. You're stuck in the wall at one minute to tea time. Tea time! Forever! Hello, Alice. Who has come Pat is counting on you. Oh, no. We all are. were an irksome, flourish, interrupting thing. <laughs> hold on, everyone. I don't want to hold on. Not again. Sorry. Well, it looks good to me, but I keep feeling like there's no party here. I think that a, a big part of these blockbuster movies is feeling that they're events, right? Uh, but I don't think that either movie coming out Memorial Day weekend this year seems like a particularly big event, right? You're like, should I see X-Men Apocalypse or Alice Through the Looking Glass? And I, I wonder, I mean, honestly, answer down below, are any of you like super jazzed about either of those movies? I think like the comic book fan in me is like, okay, X-Men, but this one looks a little better to me, I have to be honest. Uh, although, Linda Wolverton just can't help herself with the feminism. And I, I appreciate, you know, calling attention to these, uh, you know, these matters. Uh, but I think you have to be a little bit careful. You have to know when you're pushing your luck. And I think after the first Alice and then Maleficent, uh, where she basically wrote out Prince Charming, I wouldn't have opened this trailer with more feminism. I mean, that's true about female hysteria, uh, that it was like considered like <laughs> an illness that could be, you know, quote unquote fixed, but it was just women being women. Uh, and I'm glad Andrew Scott, by the way, is getting more work. Uh, I thought he was good, you know, in Victor Frankenstein, even though the role that he was saddled with was not. Uh, but still, I'm like, oh, do you have to go there with the feminism, even though it exists? Like, I'm really torn on it. I'm curious to see uh, how, how you guys feel about it. But I know that it was a big sticking point for the first Alice, so I maybe would have shied away from it. Although, I, I mean, it's pretty compelling that, you know, because she's, you know, a difficult woman, she's going to be locked up in a mental institution and who knows what will be done to her. And it's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. I guess I'm laughing because, as I said, Linda Wolverton just can't help herself. And I think she's pushing her luck. She's the screenwriter, by the way, if you if you don't know. Uh, she wrote Maleficent, she wrote the first Alice, and she also wrote Beauty and the Beast uh, uh, way back in the day with Howard Ashman. Uh, and of course, that was the, uh, you know, I believe, yeah, first uh, animated film nominated for uh, Best Picture. So she's got an impressive resume, and these movies all made a lot of money. But I think she's just on the cusp of, you know, you know, making her name, you know, a little bit too much. So I'm curious, what do you think that Pink song, by the way, spectacular, does a lot of, you know, a, a lot to plus this trailer. I'm not quite sure how I feel about Johnny Depp's performance. I liked the stuck forever at one minute to tea time. I thought that was pretty funny. But then when he, uh, Alice says, hold on to something, and he says, I don't want to hold on, I had to actually rewind to understand exactly what he was saying. And that was like, you know, Johnny Depp, there's like, 
good Johnny Depp, you know, good good cartoonish Johnny Depp, and then there's you know Johnny Depp without a filter going too far, and like uh, I see both both of those sides of him at play in this trailer. So we'll see how the actual movie turns out. But James Bobbin, by the way, pretty darn a good approximation of Tim Burton. So uh, I'm curious, which movie do you think looks more Tim Burton-y to you, this or Miss Peregrine? Uh, I think this is going to do better, better than Miss Peregrine. Uh, so we shall we shall see, though, uh, how everything sorts out at the box office. So leave your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching this trailer uh, with me. And I do believe tickets are now on sale. Uh, so make sure you uh, pick pick those up before X-Men Apocalypse, interestingly enough. So uh, I guess they got the jump on them there. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And you can check out some other episodes right now. Hey.